so over the course of the last two weeks, <laughs> I've been living out of my truck. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys all about the highs, the lows, and uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly of car living. Oh, hi. This is Hannah, she also lives out of her car. <laughs> Let's go down to the beach. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mav, where we do everything outdoors. My name is Maverick, and uh, today, yeah, I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna explain how the last two weeks have been. Today, Hannah and I are in the Laguna Beach area on a little, a little secret beach that a local guy actually told us about yesterday, so it's a pretty cool spot. Pants are gonna be sandy again. You wearing the same ones? Oh, no. no you're not. Roll them up. I did, and they fell down when I ran. Roll them up better. That's not rolling them up. I think this is. I think this is rolling them up, Hannah. <laughs> I don't know. You just look like you belong here. You look like you live. Net. This is your home right here. Oh, Hannah's going home. <laughs> this is how I got here yesterday. <laughs> Like a little crab. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Hannah and I are gonna enjoy our time on the beach. Um, how do I transition this? I don't. Goober. Uh, oh. There we go. It's a little better. Thanks. I, I mean, I need a haircut. That's what people have been telling me. <laughs> I'm gonna put this thing away for now. Uh, story time will commence when I get back in the truck. All right, so you're going to Walmart, yeah? Okay. Meet you at the library? Like one of those monkeys. Monkey. All right, well, I so conveniently soaked my pants on the beach, so I suppose that calls for a new pair. This is one of the problems with truck camping right now. Um, I really want to change my pants, but as you can tell, my feet are very sandy, and if I go in my truck, I'm gonna get my bed all sandy, so I'm just gonna have to go find some more more not here. Oh my gosh, sandy feet almost made me fall out of the car. All right, so as I was saying, for over the course of the last two weeks, I've been living on the West Coast out of my truck. Uh, <clears throat> my journey all started from Minnesota, and I drove from Minnesota basically straight to LA, and for the last two weeks, I've been kind of in the LA area within around two and a half, three hours. We just about got in a car accident with a Ferrari. That would have been a great video title. Um, all right, so over the course of the last two weeks, Hannah and I have been spending a majority of our time in the LA area. Um, we've been doing like some background acting jobs. I guess I can't say been doing. We did like one background acting job together. Um, it was really fun. It was cool to like experience being in like a TV show and seeing a production. Um, I'm a big camera nerd myself, so like being able to see like all those big cameras being used and like all the equipment was pretty sweet. And also just like to kind of see how like a production goes about filming something rather than just like filming it in my day-to-day -day life um so that was really cool got to do that one time um but i realized that if i keep doing that it's hard for me to commit to something right now because i'm trying to kind of figure out how i'm going to film my youtube videos here um and at the same time taking up a day doing some background acting gig is um 
it takes a lot away from my YouTube channel. So I've kind of backed off on that and I've been putting a lot of focus into my YouTube videos. Um, but anyway, Hannah's been doing some background work. Um, she's been doing some modeling stuff, so that's why we're sticking around LA. Um, plus for me, I actually really like the challenge of being um, somewhere where the outdoors isn't like maybe as prominent or as easily accessible. So it's like, if I didn't have a choice and I had to grow up in LA, um, would I still be able to be an outdoorsman? Would I still be able to get out and go catch fish, have fun, um, or, or not? And that's part of the fun for me. So that's kind of my mission. I want to find things that are outdoors everywhere and not just focus on things where it's easily accessible because it would be super easy for me to go out and just drive to Washington and go catch salmon right now. And that would be fun, it would be great. But right now that's not what I wanna do. As far as the city goes, LA is kind of maybe starting to drive me a little up the wall. So I'm a person that makes a lot of mistakes while driving, like simple mistakes, like, you know, missing my turn or like turning on the wrong street or something. Now, when I'm in Minnesota and I make a mistake like that, it's pretty easily forgivable. Like. You know, I make a wrong turn, I'll maybe be like two minutes late to my destination. Now if I do that in LA during rush hour, it's like I'll be 30 minutes late to my destination or I'll be 45 minutes late to my destination, which causes me to like feel a little bad. I don't know, just drives me a little crazy. Um, but I guess I only have myself to blame because it's my fault for making the dang mistake in the first place, eh? All right, so the second problem with this whole staying out of my truck thing has been showering. Right now, I'm where I usually shower, the gym. So let's backtrack to before my trip. Um, I actually purchased a gym membership about a week and a half before I left. Um, I did this because I was talking to Hannah and I was like, hey Hannah, how do you shower? Because you can't really be naked in the street using my street shower. And she's like, oh, well, you have to get a gym membership, but you have to get it a month before you come out here because they're gonna wanna have a home facility for you um, and you can't leave that home facility until a month of membership. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I ended up buying a gym membership a week and a half before I left. It took me about five days to get out here. So at that time we're at two weeks. So now I'm just getting to the end of my two week stint. It's been a pain in the butt because every time I go to shower at one of these places, I either have to one, have Hannah with me and she has to let me in like a little kid. And then I have to explain to people inside why I'm being let in. And then two, if I go by myself, I have to call ahead of time and the people have to be in the office, the manager has to be in the office, so if they're not in the office, like, I can't get let in. Jerry on the treadmill is not gonna let me in just because I'm knocking on the door, you know, so. And the reason I can't use the road shower is because it's really hard to find places that are secluded enough um, to be able to just get naked and rinse myself off. Anyway, um, that was a big tangent. I'm gonna go freaking shower. Uh, my hair's looking a little fluffy right now, as you can tell. I think I might get a haircut today too, but um, besides the point. I'm gonna go inside, go shower, um, get all sodded up, and then I guess I'll talk about the positives next. <laughs> all right. So in LA, there's uh, some good things, like uh, a lot of good stuff to do at night and really good food. So, so one thing that I really like about LA is that there's always food within like five minutes where I'm gonna park my truck. So it doesn't matter where I'm parking my truck, there's always good food around. And not only is there good restaurants, but there's a lot of marketplaces that have come from different parts of the world where I'm able to get some groceries and cook some stuff up out of the back of my truck. So that's that's one reason I'm in love with LA. Um, being in Minnesota, sometimes that stuff is really hard to come by or you have to drive like, you know, 30 to 45 minutes to get to a different type of marketplace or find like good food. Here it's like you drive five minutes in one direction, like you can find any kind of food you want. So I just, I don't really know what else to say besides that like, there's great food available everywhere, whether you're gonna make it yourself or whether you're gonna buy it from a restaurant. All right, so one final thing that has been great about being in this LA region um, is the people. So Hannah has a lot of friends out here and I have a couple friends out here and it's been really good to catch up with some old friends that have kind of separated from Minnesota slash our hometowns in the last uh, few years. So last night we actually spent some time with my buddy Jordan and his, uh, his girlfriend Grace. Um, they live out in Southern California and we uh, ended up making some fresh tuna poke cables. So that was really fun. Haven't seen them for a long time and uh, it was good to catch up and enjoy some nice food. There, I guess the other thing that I'll say about LA is that there's a lot of room for opportunity. Like if I wanted to work part-time, there's, there's so many different ways that you can make money out here. There's different part-time jobs that you can have. 
you kind of have to like everything seems like it's moving like this out here so i guess that can be a positive for some people and it can be a negative for some people i'm kind of in limbo with it uh i don't like it's it's it depends on the day if i'm feeling rushed or if i'm not um when i want to get stuff done i'm feeling rushed when i have all my things done for the week and i can kind of relax um it doesn't bother me as much but I can see where like if you have a full-time job out here it's gonna be stressful but all in all like the first couple weeks out of my truck have been awesome um one thing that really sucked this week right after i ate those tacos i don't know if you guys remember but my first time fishing in la video i had tacos at the end um i don't know if i got food poisoning from those or if i just got sick from them i had the worst poops of my life i like i made that pho video that same night and uh i just had like a pain in my gut right after I finished those tacos like I put down the camera and I got in my I got in my car and I, I literally thought I was gonna poop my pants like I was rushing to the nearest gas station and that's not fun um that is a downside of not having a bathroom near you um at all times but I ended up getting to the bathroom and uh not going in my pants so that was good good stuff glad glad you guys know that now you know it seems like a lot of people in my comments are really worried about like where I'm staying and like they're worried about me getting like robbed and stuff. Um, to be honest, like I understand that like anytime you have a large city of people, like you have a lot of people together, there's going to be bad people in there and there's going to be like gangs and whatever. And there's gonna be people like breaking into cars and stuff. Um, for the most part, actually for the whole part, uh, every place that I've parked my car for the night, I have, I've felt very safe. Um, Hannah has a few friends out here that we've been staying with. Um, well, not with, but we've been staying, like, outside of their driveway. Um, nice suburban neighborhoods, like, even, like, some neighborhoods that are closer to the city that still, like, I feel safe in. Um, last night, we spent the night in Laguna Beach, and, like, as you could tell, there's really just nothing going on over there. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little, a little too optimistic about the area, but I just, I think that, the image of LA is a little more portrayed. Like, I mean, I'm not staying downtown though. So I just, I don't see like the big deal, I guess. So, so far I'm really liking living out of my truck. Really not sure if I'm in the right area yet. Um, but I am enjoying dissecting. Like, like I said, I'm enjoying dissecting the city life. It's been fun. Um, I've got, I've gotten to go on a couple of really awesome adventures. Uh, one of which I think I just posted, which is I caught lobster for the first time and cooked them up out of the back of the truck. And then, um, the next video that's going to go up is going to be our fishing day, which was super awesome. We ended up catching some fish and, uh, I made some fish tacos. So that's the video you guys are going to see next. So I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of episodes you like. Um, and what else, what, like what other questions you have? I'm going to be doing another update video like this at the end of a month. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And, uh, I guess all that's left to say is until next time, my name is Maverick. And you already know the drill, just keep on trucking. Oh, and for all of you that are saying that I need a haircut, there you go. Um, if you need a haircut, right here. San Clemente, come see my boy Brennan. Get you up nice.